Now welcome back again to the channel, I do agree. Today we're just going to do a bit of an update on the sick cow. Uh, she is no longer sick, very happy cow, eating with the rest of them, munching up the silage. It is good silage too, uh, which is a help. But um, I, she was, she's been back in the slats now for a few weeks. Her, her horn was bloodied again, whatever happened to it. It's, it probably should be dehorned, but uh, cut off altogether, but I don't know how big of a job that is. Um, the two of them could be dehorned, but can't do that right now. Um, other than that, she's doing fantastic. I'll jump in there and we'll try and have a look um, at her condition. It's improving. She was a bit scoury for a few days now. Uh, after getting the dose, but uh, she's definitely improving that way. Um, she's still awful skinny, but she, it is it is coming back underneath her belly there, and she is eating way way more, um, much more of an appetite. But um, so I'm very happy. The tests results did come back for the dung sample. Um, she tested positive for both types of fluke, liver and rumen fluke, so that means we'll probably have to dose the whole herd. Um, but that's good news for her anyway, we dosed her for the right stuff, the end of fluke should have killed everything in her system. But uh, yeah, we do have to dose the whole herd very soon, before another one comes down with it. But. Um, yeah, I'll have to do some work on the crush, I think, before that happens. So it'll be after Christmas uh, that they get dosed. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't affect them, any of them in the meantime. And I just thought I'd have a look here at the uh, Wainlands. Wainlands are doing absolutely amazing this year. Um, just just flying. I'll jump inside there as well and you can have a look at their conditioning. This we um uh White Lad is probably the smallest, but he's one of the youngest too, I think. But uh the Angus the black Angus are doing uh fantastic so they are. Mind you right, yeah. I should really knock on the light, but um, yeah, I'll knock on the light. It's all right, it's all right. I shouldn't really be stressing them, but you can see, geez, some of them are doing absolutely fantastic. For seven, eight months old, the size of them. Um, I've never seen calves this size in the farm, I don't think. We don't usually, we don't usually keep on the bulls, the bullocks. Uh, we usually sell them, um, but this year's a bit different. But yeah, geez, the size, the absolute size of these lads. Um, and they haven't given us any trouble. One of them, that's probably the biggest lad, I think he had the abscess. There's probably still a bit of a, sorry, it's very dark. Very dark in here, but this lad had the abscess. I uh, gave him a round of antibiotics and it went away. They're the only, it's the only thing that has happened with them so far, but yeah, they're doing fantastic. Fantastic this year, no doubt.
not easy to get them when they're black and they're in the dark slats, but um, yeah, not a, not a bother with them. The younger ones I noticed very, uh, from the very start were doing better than uh, than some of the um, some of the older lads, but uh, yeah, they just they surprised me so they did. But that's them. There's the wanelands. They're pretty much waned off their off their cows here now. They're not eating as much silage as they, as I think. I'm spreading a lot more of their silage out to the cows. Obviously, the cows are twice, three times the size of an animal. They're eating a lot more, but yeah, they're not eating as much silage as I would have thought. Um, but they're all doing grand. No bother to the rest of them at the minute, um, and I'm happy. I'm happy she's doing well. A bit of a success there the right time to dose her uh, a few days earlier maybe would have helped too but we caught it in time and um, she's definitely improved she's definitely improved so yeah it was liver and rumen fluke um, wherever they got it I don't know that comes off of snails I suppose snails eggs and that so they probably all have a dose of it or most of them would have a dose of it. I don't know, is it contagious? But anyway, they'll all be dosed uh, with endofluke or whatever's the, whatever's the best, best stuff. Might give her another dose. In a few weeks time, we'll see what the vet says or whatever, just to make sure they're all good. But that's them. There's the sick cow, no longer sick, I hope. Uh, I'll update again if she, if she becomes more ill but seems to be happy for now um, I hope you like that now and I'll see you next time